And hello, good people of the internet. It is I, Tommy Kelly, and this is Adventures in Woo. This episode is the big reveal of what the location was for the remote viewing target AIWWLD001. If you have no idea what that is, I would suggest that you go back in the podcast a couple of episodes or on YouTube and you will find the video, the setup video for this, which um, will explain it a bit more. If you don't know what re remote viewing is at all, it's basically people trying to discover or describe or see an, a location or a time, an event um, from a place that isn't at that thing, you know, from the other side of the world, from a different point in time. So in this one, I arrived at a location at a specific time and I asked people to try and work out where I was and describe it. And we had a load of people who described it. So it was a really good uh, response. Really happy with that. Lots of people, lots of teams, lots of different things came true and no one got it. Although some people arguably came very, very close. And these things are all, you know, open to interpretation, of course. Uh, Spud did uh, a kind of a guess or a reading or whatever you want to look at these. And uh, while he didn't kind of get it, there's, there's argu arguments could be made for um, the words that he used and things like that. And you could just say that with an awful lot of, of people's guesses too. But we go through a few of them and see how we get on. Now I'm not going to read everyone's because there's so many. So I'm going to read some that are most relevant or for people who I've interacted with before and stuff like that. So the very first one is Joe Forrest left one on Patreon. And just while we're here, Joe Forrest has a comic out. Um, if that will go in focus. Um, it's called The Last True Mage, and this is issue one, which you very kindly sent to me. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Check it out. I'll put his links in the show description as uh, below. And uh, you can check out his Patreon and his comic and all that. Wonderful stuff. Always great to see magic comics. Anyway, Joe Forrest's guess says, I'm shit at this, but as soon as I started watching the video, all that popped in my head was one of those old school mailboxes, like uh, from Danger Mess. If you don't remember Dangerous, you should check it out. Uh, yeah, a few people said these school mailboxes, and it's not it. Um, so it's interesting that, uh, you know, you said that, that it picked up. Now, of course, there is this thing, and someone in red pointed out to me that I, there is a preload going on with the video. Um, in that, uh, if you really want to go in blind, you should just give the number, the target number, and say absolutely nothing. But of course, I didn't. You could see stuff behind me. I was at the, lo at the location. I did talk a little bit. There's definitely sound, so you can get it. You know, you knew I wasn't, I don't know, in a, an Amazonian rainforest or something like that. Not that I would be. You knew I was in Ireland as well, because that's where I'm located. So there's an awful lot of this preloading. And I wonder, because the very, one of the very first kind of responses was Joe's, even though it was on Patreon, and you know, not as many people would have seen that as, as on the comments on YouTube or, say, uh, the podcast. But uh, maybe there was a bit of preloading going on there. But I, I don't think so. It's an interesting one. Fubber 8, or Fuhrer 8, F-R-U-A-T-R, I'd have Fuhrer 8. Uh, old school, build, old stone building, which is interesting. Uh, beyond one, a lake, is the first thing that popped into my mind. Uh, no lake, sadly, although you're never far from a body of water in Ireland. Is fancy as F. I got a corner of a tan co concrete, rough texture building. Looks kind of like a school or an admin, admin building. Interesting, that's interesting and a black post of some kind in front of that corner, possibly lined with bushes on one or two sides. Two floors, uh, right. My gut says that it's in front of you to your right about 45 degrees from center. It was in front of me to my right 45 degrees, but I also did go like this in the video, which would point in front of me at 45 degrees. But school or admin building, very interesting. And the bushes, of course, there was bushes behind me, so that's a bit of preloading, not to take away from a pretty good guess. Jason Nugan, I get the impression that it's some sort of park. It is some sort of park. Um, there's one large sort of central grass, or central tree in a grass field. Um, kind of. That's interesting. Um, I think there's also someone nearby with a sort of food carts, sausages or something like that. Do you guys even have small food carts like that in Ireland? We don't at all, really. Very rarely see it. We have more kind of chip fans and people selling strawberries and spuds on the side of the road, but no actual, you know, things like like you would have classically, I suppose, in on New York or probably all over America. I don't know. I've only been to New York, <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I would I would like it, but I'd say our health and safety standards are t too ridiculously red taped over here. Um, Sir Echo, I got a great tower. Lots of people got towers, which is very interesting. 
and possibly stone connected to a building that may have been a church in the middle of a parking lot. Um, those parking lots around me. Harry Ango, am I pronouncing that right? Harry and Harry and Ago, sorry, uh, has this image, which is interesting, and I'll point it out at the end for one particular aspect of it that I'll not just say it right at this moment, not to spoil the surprise. Uh, tomato tree, and this is another image, and this one, I think, I would argue, is the closest to what is going on, and I will say no more until we get to the reveal. But I think that this is the one, if I had to pick a winner, that's the one I'm going to pick as a winner. Random person. Um, here's what I got. A reflective round shape with white and bluish details. Very close, very good. And, you know, again, in the reckoning for winner, other than uh, possibly a body of water. So that kind of brings it away from that it's not. Um, a stone wall with either a tree or a metal post in a Y shape, which is interesting as well. Um, this metal post in a Y shape. A large evergreen tree and a stone white fountain. Not so much. Drinks, see coffee. Mo uh, movement, round shapes like a vehicle with rounded edges. This is really good. This is very close as well. Laughter and warmth. I assume that was just me in the presence of this thing being full of warmth and full of laughter and humour. Uh, but very good. Steve Clifford. I have a feeling I see you in some kind of market, but it's empty. No. Well, no. Hugh Hackett. I got a feeling of the seaside. First impression was a stately brick building with white trim and green landscape lawns and bushes around it. Apart from the seaside, you could be describing some aspects of where I was, in fairness, Hugh. Alistair Joseph. There are bicycles, striped umbrellas, maybe. And this is one of those ones that you could argue, I know why you would talk about bicycles and I know why you would talk about umbrellas, but it's not exactly, you're not, you're describing form and shape but not the actual thing which is very very interesting i'll put you in the top three um i drink tea my initial thought that jumped straight into my head without thinking was the curfew tower and it's somewhere near the coast interesting that you come up with the coast again at uh, seaside these kind of things that came up and uh came up in other ones that i'm not reading out just the same as the mail uh, boxes and stuff like that the curfew tower i'm not really sure if that's an actual place because when I was doing a Google for it, it seems to be a curfew tower. It's a place that you can have in many towns or city. Again, interesting that it's a tower that you're coming across. Um, I understand why, possibly. Uh, Runasaurs, a stone tower. Interesting, but windows or openings seem to have several stories. Offset, near water, lakes, trees and green around. Cork area, no, not at all. Very uh, opposite end of the country from the Cork area. Um, so, uh, yeah, some interesting ones there. Again, interesting at the stone tower and the water and the lake. Like, I'm near water, but, uh, like, the, near the coast, but not that, cl not not walking distance to uh, water or, well, I am walking distance. Mm, I don't know. I, I, I would say that in the actual vicinity and target area, there isn't uh, a large body of water. Although I'm, like, a couple of miles from the coast, so... But you could say that about anywhere in Ireland, effectively. Betty Sunderland. Um, a well, again, so we have water again. So maybe there is an underground water uh, thing that I'm just I'm not aware of, which could be likely. Peas. Dark red, burgundy, maroon colour, boat, bow of water, stream, crisp air, something shire. Devonshire, Derbyshire. Um, no, we don't really use shires over here uh, as designations for, you know, the end of names. So, um... But I understand the Shire. Yeah, maybe, possibly. Ben Terrell. Initial pop into my mind was a red swing set. Red came up a number of times with people. But trying to remote view it further was a white square, maybe around a small, or around a playing field. Maybe, we could argue that, possibly. After that, I second guessed and befundled myself over two floods of other possibilities. How does everyone else deal with floods of ideas as well as remote information while trying to remote view? I think that one, I'm not an expert remote viewer by any stretch of any means. I think that's just down to uh, practice and just trying to get the important bits out of the information that's coming to you. Or just, you know, just going with it and writing down everything, drawing everything and just, you know, throw, <laughs> throw enough poo in the wall and see if something sticks. Maybe not. Surak, uh, a banana peel. Possibly, I didn't see one, but it was definitely not the actual target. Um, and Alan Theobald, two golden arches. There's probably McDonald's in the area. 
Uh, arches are interesting, but uh, McDonald's, I don't think so. Could be, uh, maybe, but the McDonald's I know aren't in the area. The McDonald's from that area, from that town, aren't in the, in the area. And the Marvel Stark, this is quite dark, Marvel Stark. Uh, horrible fire, white car, pain, dry air, flashlight, bright flash from windows, one person, wet highway, drowning. No, no, none of that. Then please don't be predicting futures or anything like that. That's no, please. I'm tempted to say, you know, maybe get some help to look into that, but I jest. So yes, that's the some of the guesses, some of the ones that kind of hit, and some of the ones that were kind of interesting. Thanks to everyone who actually did uh, put something in. It was great, and uh, the response was wonderful. Now we're going to have a listen to Spud as he tries to work out what it is, and he's ha having a bit of a tough time with it. Hello everybody. Um, this is a hard one, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> um, usually I'm good at these with you, and this one's really hard. I've done a, yeah, I've kind of meditated on this a few times and just get different things. So I don't know. Um, let me try one more. Feels like there's something to do with money, commerce, or exchange, like a post office, bank, ATM machine, or, or a post box. I think there's one of those little H's around as well. You can see that with the hydraulic things, isn't it? Not, not hydrogen or hydraulic. Hydraulics, isn't it? They have them in Ireland for the where there's water around for firemen. I think there's a school nearby. There's a pub not far as well, but then it's Ireland, so obviously there's a pub not far away. <laughs> you know? Um, just the, the over, overriding feeling I get is that there's something to do with Postage or money or exchange, it's can't shake that off, you know. But I can't really put it properly into words. Could be a post office or it could be something else to do with money or exchange and things like mail or something like that, which is obviously a post office. But maybe I'm miles off, but uh, sure, we'll see. Good luck. So yeah, that was Spud's attempt at it. Spud's usually very good at this in that he got one of the last ones spot on, like absolutely everything he mentioned was in the area, which was quite interesting. But uh, not so much this time though. I will uh, or could debate that the exchange exchange thing is uh, very rele rele relevant <laughs> to what the actual target is, as is the school building that he mentions. So over to Tommy from the past who's going to explain exactly what the target was. So this is it, did you get it? It's a giant wind turbine in DKIT, which is a college in Dundalk in Ireland. Um, so obviously if you got some sort of circular stuff or you know you actually got the wind turbine it would have hit directly on it but around us we suppose we have college buildings we have railings we have some electricity works going on here cars there's steps obviously leading up to the thing itself and uh, I'll just give you a general view of what's going on around me in case some of it was what you picked up there's a football pitch here lights and obviously trees and all of those type of things, my car, and uh, yeah, a couple of crows in the van. There's a hotel just over there, the Crown Plaza, which some of you may have picked up on. But the general, that that building there used to be a cigarette factory, where they made cigarettes, uh, but is now part of the college. It's a pretty huge college here, and um, you know, there's plenty of different things that you may or may not have picked up on, but obviously the main thing is the wind turbine there, which is what I was, uh, which is what the actual target was, rather than the surrounding area. But I know 
from past experiences that people pick up on the surrounding area and I tend to do that as well you know things don't just exist in a vacuum you know they have to exist in context and stuff like that so I hope you got it and uh, I will read it or I have read it some of the uh, things that other people have mentioned and then we'll uh, review them and see how we get on so let's see and there you go that was the target it was a huge windmill a wind turbine that's in the college in DKIT in Dundalk I will leave the Google map uh, location details for you in the show description if I remember I'm almost great at saying I will leave these in the show description and then forgetting all about it till someone comments and goes you didn't leave these in the show description but uh, hopefully this time I will and uh, yeah it was interesting like lots of things coming up where people talking about uh, towers uh, the umbrellas and the bicycle thing I thought was very interesting because obviously there's that kind of circular thing to it and um, that uh, image that uh, tomato tree sent looks to me very much reminiscent of uh, of the actual windmill you know of, of the turbine itself as does um harry angles if that's again if i'm pronouncing names wrong this bit on the image you know you could be argued as well that it's something that's close to it as well but overall i think there's an awful lot of hits there and different people definitely got school buildings parks you know railings and uh, no mailboxes no banana skins no uh no things like that um so yeah proving nothing other than it's an interesting game and uh, that it's worth pursuing. We'll do some more of these again. I think the next one, Spud, is going to go to a target and we'll all try to guess where he is so I get to play the game as well as you good people of the internet. So if you have any ideas how to make this better, how we could do it without preloading so much, I don't know how, I mean, I, you can do preloading very easy in a kind of a text thing, like say we could do it on Facebook or Discord or Reddit or something like that. Works not so well on a video if you just release a video or a podcast wouldn't work at all in a podcast if you just put up text <laughs> uh, of a location but uh, if you have some ideas how better to achieve this kind of thing or do this kind of thing on a kind of video podcasty type way then uh, let me know and good people of the internet may your best days be ahead and may you have wonderful times and may you feel loved and blessed and may good things happen to you and uh May all be well. Be well.